Hold up. What's going on everybody? This is my attempt to do a another mukbang, but y'all might be surprised. It's not poke. I don't just eat poke. I mean like 95% of the time I eat poke. But I wanted to get some in and out because I actually like in and out. This video is not sponsored, by the way. For my in and out order, I am a basic bitch. Cause I don't like onions, I don't like pickles, I don't like that other extra stuff. I I do like lettuce and tomatoes, but um, I just like getting a plain cheeseburger. Their fries are actually pretty good. I love in and out fries. Um, they're always fresh to me. And their burgers are pretty decent. Now, some people out there prefer Shake Shack over In-N-Out. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's nobody. Says nobody, bitch. The fuck? Uh, I don't really care for Shake Shack. And that might be controversial to some of y'all, but baby, baby. Shake Shack ain't it, baby. Mm -mm. So this is the plain burger, my basic bitch burger. So, do you see the sun? Bitch, hello. <laughs> I nice to meet you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. I'm so good. What I like about In-N-Out is their burgers do actually taste super fresh. The patty is super good. And the cheese, it's exceptional. What I also get with my my order is a root beer. I love, love, love Bark's root beer. I, I have grown to love, not love, like, I have grown to like mug root beer, but uh, Bark's root beer is the best for me personally so i love bar root beer mm. i love in and out what do you get at in and out because baby this is what i get mm. 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 what's up bo what's up giraffe this week has been honestly it just started and we acting up. What we doing? What we doing, America? What we doing? It's just too much, you know? It's just too much. So I just felt like because America is just doing the most, I just felt like I needed to treat myself. So I treated myself to in and out mm, Baby. That's the best treat ever. Other other fast food places that I do enjoy, contrary to popular belief, um, I'm not really a big fan of McDonald's, even though I use their Wi-Fi. I actually prefer uh, Burger King over uh, McDonald's, just because I feel like their fries are a little bit better. The burgers are definitely a lot better. And I feel like they're a lot more affordable than McDonald's. I don't know what McDonald's be doing, but the McDonald's that is near me ain't shit. It tastes whack as fuck. I don't know what they're doing over there. I should probably 
I should probably report them because when I go to the McDonald's over here, it tastes way different. And the consistency is just not there. Speaking of McDonald's, oh my god. Speaking of McDonald's, there's this um there's this movie. I forget what it's called. But it's the story of McDonald's. I think it's the story of McDonald's. I can't remember what it's called, but it was a really good movie um, of how the dude started McDonald's and stuff. Insane. It, it's, it features that guy who was Batman in, in the 90s. That helps. Uh, but I, li I like that movie. So, you know, if you don't know, I'm lactose. And this has cheese. So I love that for me. I again realized that mid. Mid chomp. I was like ooh. All this cheese baby. Baby. Now. I also. Typically. <laughs> I also typically have a Neapolitan with this. But. I didn't want to die today. So. I said, I'm going to skip that. So, we're not having a Neapolitan. The well, only thing I don't like about this is that the cheese be sticking to your teeth. I'm like, that's not cute. What if you're on a date and then the cheese is like right, <laughs> like right down? I'm not cute. You know what? You shouldn't even be going to in and out on a date. What the fuck you doing? Like, class it up, bitch. Unless, I, I do, I don't know how kids fucking, um, date nowadays, but I guess if you're a teenager, I think that's acceptable, but if you're a grown-ass adult, what do you mean you take me to in and out Unless, unless, there are exceptions, unless it's, your first time going to in and out and you're surprising your date um because they never been but other than that the fuck well i look like in and out material i mean baby <laughs> this is out of pocket it is always fucking like there's a fucking line as you saw there's always a line i would also have oh my god i would also have catch up with my fries but I'm in my car right now see root beer hit different when you're eating this and that and just tonight is one wars and if y'all want to hear more about the backstory of one wars the uh, second podcast episode is out now. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Not me promoting my, my podcast while I burp and eat. This is disgusting. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so if you want to check out that podcast, uh, and, and, and hear about it, um, Backstory of One Wars. Uh, my guest today is Coco. So check it out. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I got some awesome feedback from my first podcast. And this is uh first episode. And uh, this is my second episode. And I am super excited to, to have you all hear it. Because I think uh, y'all will learn a little bit more about Coco. And uh, she is deserving of all that. Uh, but in addition to that, tonight is also one where so I got a lot going on today. So if you're free, cause, you know, I I'll be busy doing one wars. Uh, but if you're free today to dedicate your time to listen to the podcast, watching one wars tonight, Coco Eve six eight six on Twitch, um, eight thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
I would really appreciate it. If you want more information, it is going to be on my website, homiesoftheinternet.com, where you can find what I just mentioned on there, this video, the podcast, and uh, many more. Hope you all have a great week ahead. I know I will. I just want to uh, give a shout out to Stacey Abrams, Georgia, the people of Georgia, um, and our our new uh, two elected new senators uh, from Georgia as well. Shout out to y'all. Um, Black Lives Matter. Justice for Jacob Blake. Justice for. Brianna Taylor. Again, Black Lives Still Matter. I will see y'all soon and uh, hope y'all have a good week. Bye, everyone.